Hello, my friend, and welcome back to another Ladder Battle Cast. Sponsored again by Neon Marble Rust, which just had an update. More on that in a little bit, but we've got Motive down here at the bottom right-hand corner. And my man, Sock, here in the top left. What a guy, Sock. Unfortunately, not pulling out, not doing too well in the most recent ASL. I think... You know, I've been I was actually thinking about this a lot last night. I was just thinking about Sock. Um not in any sort of a weird way. Get that get that out of your head. I was thinking that maybe he had some sort of like imposter syndrome or something like that. Maybe he uh when he gets into a game with someone he considers to be stronger than him, I I feel like whenever he does get into one of those games, one of those situations, he definitely plays more scared. He doesn't play to the peak of his potential. I think that maybe the mental game is like the main thing holding back Sock. Let me know in the comments down below if you maybe agree with me, maybe disagree with me. But this guy, when he's playing against someone he feels like is his level or below, the moves that he pulls out are crazy. He's really, really aggressive and interesting uh, with how he plays Terran. And... He's often making a lot of very, very smart, prudent decisions that get him a good lead in the early and mid game. But when he's playing against someone who is uh, considered to be stronger than him, often he's not making those same moves. He's not as confident with his play and he's often getting behind and staying behind in the game. So I don't know. That's just my observation here. We've got Motive, who I would say Sock probably believes this guy is below him on in terms of a relative skill level and they are on their kind of main accounts i know that this is a little bit um misleading here he's got ttt but nzu is a uh, clan that is uh related to the collegiate league of starcraft brood war in korea so uh, colleges in korea have their own little teams and they play in sort of a league together so these guys are definitely practicing with each other uh, a lot of the time so they do have a lot of experience playing each other and meeting here on ladder should be feeling right at home here sock shouldn't be feeling any of those nerves he's gonna start a bunker out in front of motives natural actually getting that pretty far away from the nexus it's definitely not in range i think you you might have to hop two bunkers to get in range of this i'm not sure depending on you know how you do this here but the bunker is going to go down and the first zealot is out so this one marine that took some damage from a probe earlier on will have to back away i think they can two shot that marine now so he's really got to back off here has the factory on the way and just the relative builds here it was a nexus first for motive and we did go gas as fast expand for socks so nobody's really in the lead right now the cancel on the bunker kind of sucks but he did force some probes off the line uh, for a little bit so i mean it's uh, there's, nobody's in a real lead right now it all depends on how the follow-up play goes here getting in there with the scout Sees the robotics uh, robotics facility here. So knowing exactly what's coming, that's going to allow Sock to cut some corners. Uh, the, the Dragoon was a bit late, so you do expect to get that scout. The Zealot here going to be pushed back. Nothing else out of the ordinary here, aside from that kind of important scouting information that was just gleaned here by Sock. And you kind of expect to see this type of play after the gasless fast expand for Terran, but you can't always be sure about it. We could have seen, for example, a starport go down or even a starport somewhere out on the map get thrown down and Vulture expand come out here. But in fact, Sock is just going to get a tank and mines here with two factories start to pump out. We should see an armory here pretty darn quick. Uh, if that's the type of game that he wants to play. Just going for the two factory play. There it is. The armory starts. Right up here in the corner. 
I don't know if I really like the the armor in the corner play. I really feel like um, let's just zoom out a little bit here. If we set up turrets around, or we set up turrets here, and maybe set up turrets here, if the shuttles decide to fly in really hard, they're always going to unload at the back of the base. They're going to dump back here, and a Reaver could easily pick that off. Very hard to get a repair on something like that, so we'll see how that goes. A lot of players these days are putting their armories right here. A lot easier to defend. I'm going to go ahead and get a probe over here. Lay down a few mines. Not able to get in and actually cut off those, uh, cut off the uh, ability to take that third base, but could maybe run behind these dragoons and drop a mine. Let's see if he can get it in position. Ooh, really body blocking this well, but the mine does go down. Um, and he will just have to back off here. Ooh, man, this is not looking good now. So not going to lose his first tank. Oh, that was really, really close. Okay, it does go down. This is really not a great move here for Sock, and Motive can be feeling very happy about that hold. Killing off the first tank and two vultures without losing uh, hardly anything in that exchange. Just a zealot going down. He's gonna, going to be pushing all the way across the map now and putting that pressure on Sock, making sure he can't come out at all by just setting up here with the dragoons and the observer can go in and take a look at the main base. Follow up here from Sock. After losing that first tank, he's going to drop two more factories. And I'm surprised to see him not build any turrets here. He's got no... Oh, oh, oh. Running into the natural here. Can he get this tank? He's going to get the third volley. He does get the tank. Uh, but loses two dragoons. Two dragoons for one tank. Still very, very good here for Motive. Motive is playing an excellent game thus far. Sock a bit on the back foot after losing this many tanks. So another factory going down. Yeah, I was going to say, pretty shocked that we don't see an eBay and any defensive uh, stru any defensive stuff here. Ooh, going to go ahead and snipe this Dragoon. Picking off those two Dragoons is pretty nice. But eventually Reaver is going to come. So what's going to be the response? There's the eBay, but dude, this eBay is so late. I guess Sock is read this way better than I ever could. I would have gotten in with the SCV and son, uh, seen, <laughs> son, seen the robotics facility um, and then immediately thought about throwing down a eBay, but Sock holds off on that for a ridiculous amount of time and that's going to allow him to get these factories out way faster. So the factories are done already. Five factory here that he can use to push out. I think it's going to be for a third, a sixth factory. He's going to go all in. Six factory production plus one attack is about to finish. So this is his timing. Six facts is a lot of production. What do we have back at home? Oh, he's gone into carrier. Motive is trying to switch into carrier here. Thinking that after picking off all those tanks, it's not going to be possible for Sock to, to push across the map, but he is dead wrong. Sock is coming. And, oh man, just one add-on here. That's all the tanks that are going to be popping out. So, Sock has really dialed this attack in. It's going to be very hard for Motive to hold. I'm going to lose an Observer here. Does get a pretty good shot off on the Goliaths. But he can't keep pushing forward right now. Sock slowly backing away while sending the vultures around the side. He cannot get on top of these probes. All the vultures are going to go down, I think. Not really any way to save them unless... Hold up. He's going to slide out here and look at these motorcycle men get their job done. A lot of probes are going to be falling here while carriers are being produced. Dude, so much damage right now. It's crazy. That is a ton of probes going down. Like 10 probes maybe just went down. Dude, Motive is still not responding to this. He's lost so much. Eight kills just on this one vulture. And one final probe does fall. That is some insane levels of damage. And the follow-up push here 
is about to hit hard. Sock has set himself up beautifully in this game now. With that run by, it looked like everything was going to get cleaned up so easily. But in the end, finding his way in, Sock with the six factory push. Maybe seven factory now? No, still six factories here. Going to start to shove forward. He wants to snipe this low HP shuttle if he can. And he's kind of posturing like he wants to take another base. But this is just a all-in attack here. Do not be fooled. Sock needs to make this one work. He needs to push in here. He's waiting for a mistake to be made. And this is maybe it. Ooh, eating big shots from the Reavers here. Will finally just pull the trigger and dive on top of those. He gets the shuttle as well. Tanks are going to siege up here. And goons will be backing away. Two carriers are out now, but their interceptors are not quite there yet. One more carrier in production. Two carriers really not scary at all here for Sock. He's going to shove forward a little bit by little bit. Uh-oh, he's unseaged right now. He's got to get sieged up here. Slow Zealots buying him, a cell, buying him a lot of time right now. Actually gets on top and kills a couple of tanks. Not too bad for a couple of slow, slow Zealots waddling their way forward into that tank line. Tanks getting closer here. The army of Sock is looking very scary, but Motive going to go around to flank this. You may not actually engage, rather just try to pick up units as they come uh, in for the reinforcement train. No, he is going to surround this now. And a lot of dragoons, a few zealots trickling in might just be enough, and it will be. Motive is going to clear this. Sock maybe took too long to pull the trigger on this attack. Now sitting back at home with no further upgrades on the way and just one machine shop. What can he do from this position? A starport is coming online, but it's still a long time before he can start plus two. He still needs to finish this starport and start the science facility before he can start that next upgrade. Another base going to come down here for motive, but... Sock is running on fumes right now. He's got barely any momentum after that first attack was crushed. Only one tank is on its way out here to the front. One tank. That's all we've got, guys. One tank. Everything else is Goliaths. A few vultures thrown in here and there, but we really do not have that ground-pounding force anymore. And there are three carriers out here, plus Reavers. The Reavers alone are going to wreak such havoc on this massive clump of those Goliaths. Coming forward here, going to try and get some snipes before the attack even happens. Running forward, he gets two Goliaths immediately. A shot on the tank as well? No. Not going to connect here. The army just looking unbeatable right now for Motive. He's got way too much ground army. Still doesn't have Zealot speed, but that's fine. He's got three more car carriers on the way, excuse me. Double expansion here for Sock. He is doing a Hail Mary play right now. Can he get a base going? Can he get two bases going in the bottom left? Get his upgrades caught up here. Or will Motive move out and just crush him? I think Motive could absolutely move forward here and take a big fight. He has more than enough ground army uh, with the addition of those Reavers. And the carriers are getting very strong. They've already got plus two. Plus three is on the way right now, guys. That is scary territory we're getting ourselves into here with plus three attack on, what is this, four carriers? About to be uh, five, six. There's five. We're going to go up to six and seven here pretty soon. Carriers are going to start to fight. Reavers here looking for some big connections. Oh, an amazing connection there in the middle of that vulture stack. And I think we just saw the SCVs heading down to bottom left. We are getting these bases online right now. But Sock, he can't really engage this army. He's only got four tanks. He is completely on the back foot here. And Zealot Speed is about to finish. He's going to have to rotate. Try to match the movements here uh, from Motive. 
But Motive being quite cautious. Uh, I don't blame him in this situation. The timer is really on the Terran, uh, traditionally speaking. You've got six carriers. You're slowly working your way up to eight. Eventually, you're going to get to ten. And that carrier army is, is kind of a ticking time bomb here that will eventually explode in Sock's face. No need to hurry things up. No need to, you know, hastily attack into a Sox army right now when that carrier force is gradually building. Looks like Sock is not going to turn around as the carriers go to work on his natural. He is going to go across the map and try to fight the ground army here. Could snipe down this carrier. Not going to go off after it, actually. And so the carrier will join the rest of this army. Dragoons have been shaved off. Zealots are gone as well. But the carrier army still cannot be dealt with. This is becoming really scary. Seven carriers now. Nearly with that plus three upgrade. He's going to fly in. Start to fight the Goliaths here that are spawning out from the main base. As soon as he gets on top of the factories. Things will get really out of control here for Sox. So he's going to start to head back with his entire army. But he's leaving a massive gap in his defenses. Uh, to where... Definitely motive could move down towards that bottom left hand corner start to shut down those bases I'm surprised he brought the tanks with him. He might as well have just left the tanks over here and You know brought only Goliaths to fight with these carriers Still fighting here pushing back the carriers little by little No damage on them though and motive still hasn't scouted bottom left. This is crazy motive is actually giving Sock a bit of a an in here in this game. He's giving him a bit of a chance. We are now at eight factories in total. Armor one is starting here for the carriers as they've completed that plus three upgrade. Let's see here. There it is. Nine damage per hit from each of those interceptors. It's so strong. It's so much DPS. There are the 10 carriers as well. This army is just not big enough to fight them. The Goliaths and tanks are finally going to be engaged here. Motive going to work and ripping this army apart. Look at how fast the tanks go down as they're targeted here uh, by the carriers. And we've got a few more units trickling out, but nothing that could possibly fight this 10 carrier army. You gotta hand it to Motive here. He's played a great game. Very clean hold here of the six factory push and a slow build up into carriers uh, you know regardless of whether sock hid bases or not it's not going to change the facts that this carrier army just continued to grow here he's gonna come around and snipe down this command center i guess he doesn't even he just doesn't know about the bases in the bottom left i think he's just completely oblivious to that fact and yeah, you can see it now. The fog of war down here. He has no idea that these bases are here, but it just doesn't matter. It truly does not matter because this carrier army is way too strong. And he was allowed to build into it. He comes down here. He scouts the bottom left base and sees that there were a, a, a lot of SCVs mining down here. Quite a bit of money in the bank actually at the end of this game for Sock, but... He really didn't stand a chance when this army got so big. And that carrier force just cannot be denied. Guys, we're going to jump to a quick commercial. And we're going to grab game number two for you. Hey guys, Neon Marble Rust is back with a new visual update and gameplay changes. If you haven't seen it before, this is a brand new RTS made by fans of Brood War and this channel. They are looking to recreate the old school RTS feel with an interesting twist. You will manage a complicated economy with many different resources using automation and upgrades as you bring together a strategy to overwhelm your opponent. The game is completely free to play and my link to their stream page is in the description of the video. Thank you to everyone who supports me by downloading the game and thank you to Neon Marble Rust for helping to keep the dream alive. Now back to the video.
Let's go game number two here with Motive versus Sock. Man, if I'm Sock after that first game, I think I might be feeling a little bit uh, bemused as to Motive's ability to take uh, to stop my attack. Six factory with plus one hitting right as the carriers are in production. Uh, Interceptor's not quite ready. How was Motive able to stop that? Well, some great micro with his Reavers and a good number of ground units. Just barely enough to overtake Sock's attack. And from that point in the game, I hate to say that it was over, but it was very, very bad for Sock. And even with the ability or the, the double hidden base out on the map, not able to bring himself back. That's crazy, but Sock got some good information there. He now realizes that, you know, Motive not that interested in scouting. <laughs> He's not really gonna, you know, look around all the bases. He's much more interested in stopping your attacks and just building into his carrier fleet. Uh, maybe that's something that Sock can put to use, that information. Maybe he can do something sneaky here. Uh, just assuming that Motive's not going to scout, though. Now that Motive saw the, the hidden base at the end of that game, maybe he will end up scouting and Sock will get caught with his pants down. I'm not sure, but different openers here for both players in game number two. Both of them not going for early expansions. Playing much more cautious here with a gateway opener. Gateway gas versus the gas opener here. Factory, probably one fact expand for Sock with pulling off two SCVs from gas. This is this is about as standard as it gets. And if you're a player who's new or newer to the this matchup, maybe you've played Zerg before, maybe you've uh, not really played too much 1v1 and you want to learn how to open on either side, this is probably the opener you should learn uh, no matter which race you're going to be playing. Is you get this factory out as quickly as possible and then you immediately pull off two SCVs from the gas and on this side we're going to go directly into Dragoon. Look at me pulling one uh, probe off of the gas right as the goon starts. And he's going to go ahead and drop the Nexus here as soon as possible. And just defend with the one goon. No range here. So actually getting a little fancier. Most players will just um, get the gas. You know, get the goon. Get range immediately. And play it out a little bit more normally with uh, Dragoons with range. Get the Nexus a little bit later, but... Motive is cutting a slight corner here. He's trying to get that out just a tad faster than it would regularly be. Now, we've got a first goon making its way over towards the natural. Looks like it's going to get here right as the vulture is trying to run out. So he does pull that back. Don't want to be losing that or taking a bunch of damage uh, from the early dragoon. Shaving off the shields here with the vulture. The Vulture does not do good damage. It does like half damage or something um, to the actual regular hit points of the Dragoon. So, uh, whereas it actually does full 20 damage to the shield. So, hitting that with the Vulture at the beginning of the fight is very good. But then you want to take off and let the Marines do the actual hit point damage because they deal 6 damage no matter what your armor type is. Now... Coming up towards the front here, he sees the second goon, and this is a low HP vulture, so he will have to back off. He should have mines on the way, and there's range as well as a... Wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. Robotics facility here coming up for Sock. Skipping his bunker. So, again, another cut corner being cut here. This time on the side of Terran, usually you would get the bunker here as you're grabbing your command center uh, to make yourself safe against early Dragoons. But Sock getting in with his early SCV, identifying that there was no range on the way. 
realizing that he wasn't going to have to deal with a whole bunch of ranged dragoons early on, is instead able to now push out with quite a few marines, tanks, and he has mines, of course, with follow-up vultures here. So, skipping that bunker, going to give him a little bit more power in this upcoming probing push, which is not really meant to kill a Protoss player, but it's more meant to figure out exactly what is coming behind this uh, from your Protoss opponent. I'm going to come up here, maybe try to pick off a goon or two. Maybe you can force some probes to be pulled or something. I'm going to push all the way forward here. Four Dragoons are available. That's a lot of Marines, though. More than we had in the previous game with the first engagement like this. Now he's going to dive on top of the tank. Four hits is all it takes, but he only manages to get... Or eight hits is all it takes. He only manages to get six. The first volley was all four, but the second was only two. So that tank can be repaired now. He sees the Observer. Going to come out here with the Dragoons. Going to force these Dragoons to dive through the mines if he wants to kill this tank. Beautiful pulling back of the tank there. Really, really good job by Sock. He baited him uh, into using the Dragoon to eat the mine shot and then... Uh, pulled the tank back just in time, kills the Dragoon, and now he's got these two tanks here at the front starting to siege, and you can see how quickly things start to get out of control here when the Terran player doesn't lose these early tanks and a few extra Dragoons start to fall. That wasn't supposed to happen here. It was supposed to be Motive diving forward, uh, killing off a tank, or backing up slowly and just picking off all the frontal units and then coming forward to deal with the units at the back, the tanks at the back. But unfortunately, he loses way more Dragoons than uh, he meant to, uh, that he should have, and Sok was able to stay and deal some extra damage. He killed a pylon here at the front. Um, he didn't end up killing these other pylons here, but he pulls back before losing the tanks, and that is truly what matters. Sok in a good position here, and he's going to get this probe. This is great stuff from Sok. Gets the probe, sacks the, the vulture. Absolutely worth it here. Such a long distance. Nice. I love it. Motive has a shuttle. He says, all right. It's faster to just send the shuttle with a probe in it to get this third base. I like the adaptation there. He's going to get that base going here right away. And uh, not have to make that dangerous trek of the probe heading all the way out and around here when a vulture could easily stab in and kill that. For a second time, delaying it by a kind of unforgivable amount, an unsustainable amount. Now, no production coming right now here on the gateways. It's all about probes and Nexi right now here for Motive. One more Reaver is on the way, and that's what he'll use as a stopgap while his gateways are no, not producing. He's going to use the Reaver as a deterrent to the Terran player from moving out on the map too early here. I don't think that he'll try to dive in and, you know, get a bunch of kills with this or anything. Especially not with these Goliaths here. Ooh, gotta be careful. Just gonna sit back right around this area. Park with the Reaver here on the ground. And, you know, just focus on getting out his economy here. Getting more gateways up. Uh, getting another base down in the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, saturating these mineral patches. Getting extra gases online. Probably not yet for the extra gases, but mostly just extra gateways here so that he can ramp up and prepare for the next move out from Sock. We haven't looked at Sock's base for a while, but as you can see, five factory play from him with double add-on this time. So he's going to have a lot more tanks in this army. He's also got a starport. Which means that he will have that plus two coming along here uh, pretty soon. He should be starting a second armory right away. Because the armory takes about the same time as a science facility to make. So you actually need to start that right away. If you want to get that plus two going uh, as soon as possible. He's already got plus one. He doesn't have armor yet. But it's on the way. He might be forgetting that right now. That could be an issue here for Sock coming up. Because the science facility is just about done. 
Ooh, Vulture getting in here with three kills. Looks like I missed that. I'll have to picture and picture it. Was thinking a little bit too uh, hard about the overall strategy here. Missed that drop or that run by over into the natural. And that is an unfortunate part of Motive's play thus far. He's going to be a player who I guess will struggle uh, with people the likes of Sharp, other Terran players that are really good with their vulture control and getting in there with their vultures. It feels like Motive just doesn't quite have what it takes to deal with uh, aggressive vulture play. He's allowed the uh, vultures of Sock to get in two times already. One last game, one this game, and it's cost him quite a few probes. As you can see, he's behind in workers right now. Uh, to Sock, which is not generally what we see because, look, we've got more Nexus than we have CCs. Command Center is here, only two. Nexi, we have three of those. So it really should be Protoss an advantage worker-wise, but as you can see, we're just catching up to that now. And this base being harassed thoroughly here by Sock. Motive going to send just two Dragoons down here. It's a prudent move by him, but it might be punished because more Vultures are going to make their way down. And maybe they can get in and, you know, deal some more harassment here. Keeping the large part of the army out on the map, I like it for Motive. It's something we don't see enough Protoss players do. Two Dragoons can deal with a lot of Vultures. It's pretty solid in dealing with Vultures and Mines. Uh, as long as it's controlled properly. But what we see oftentimes is Protoss players send like a whole, you know, control group to clear out some mines. And then a push out happens. And the army has to run all the way from back here all the way up to the main battle area. And it can cost Protoss players their game. So I like to see it. Motive making an adaptation there. A couple of vultures were hiding out at the top of this base and they're gonna come in and get a bunch of kills now three kills on this pretty annoying stuff but reaver's gonna be dropped here finally deciding to sack these gonna come through and pick off quite a few scvs good pulling away by sock even gets the the uh, goliath there and manages to get out with one of the reavers so a great drop by motive here who's delayed the push out pretty well and is now just at the point where the reaver is not going to matter nearly as much i don't think that motive is the type of player who's going to be utilizing reaver way into the late game he's not a, a snow style of player oh there's a drop moving around the side here can he get in on this base will he go for the natural very low hp on this drop ship now so he's got to be really really careful with that I would expect for him to come down here and hit this space eventually, but uh, might not have that opportunity because you know, can't even fly in right now. 22 damage. He'll just barely not one-shot this. Uh, with a Dragoon hit, it'll be, have to be two shots, but still, that will go down super, super quick. Sox starting to take the middle of the map. He did eventually get into double armory, but I don't think we're done even plus two yet. So uh, those didn't come along very quickly. Um, could target the science vessel instead. Going to target down a few goliaths and then back away t from these vultures. Um, vultures are doing a pretty decent job trading here. They will rotate around through. Maybe you can get down here. Nope, there is... A, a reaver here ready to intercept the vultures and we'll be picking those off no problem there's cannons up here as well so even these three vultures that are low on that hp are going to be picked off eventually i like the mine placement here not bad at all just hoping that some dragoons or something will pop out of there and you can deal a little bit more damage it's probably not going to happen but it's a nice thought Motive finally starting to get set up in terms of his additional gateway production in the bottom right. But he's vastly outnumbered in his supply count. 
can Motive take a good fight here and start to reduce the number of tanks? Because if he just sits and waits while Sock builds up this army to 200-200 and then tries to engage with the mostly gateway army here or the actually total gateway army here. He's nothing but gateway, man. Double uh, robotics facility. So he is fully all in with the gateway man here. If he waits until 200-200... It's going to be a lot harder for him to take an engage that lowers the tank count here sufficiently so that the next army can actually fight uh, more on an even ground. He's going to come forward here with the Zealots. Try to take this fight. Let's see if he can get on top of that great D-Matrix to start this one off. A storm does come down on a big clump of these tanks, but the Zealots disappear very, very quickly and only about four tanks wind up going down. Well, the army supply drops dramatically here for Motive, losing a few goons on the back end as well. Salak has got to be feeling good here. T starting to push forward, he absolutely can secure this base at 12 o'clock now. No doubt in my mind, more shuttles coming up here. As Motive starts to move into position. Oh no, he could lose a shuttle though. He loses that shuttle so painful. I don't know how many storms were in there, but I think it was probably at least two Templar in that shuttle. And he managed to only get one out. Dropping now on top of the tanks. The Goliaths were not ready for it. So the Zealots are actually going to get out on top of a lot of these tanks and splashing down quite a few of them. A storm comes up as well. SCVs are brought to the front to fight. And he will be forced back. What do we have inside the shuttle? A Reaver here. Starting to get a cannon over at this base. Motive wants to set that up as soon as possible. He does already have five base production though. Five base mining here to the four base. Just being set up for Sock. A pretty okay position right now for Motive. As long as he keeps limiting the number of tanks. But... Sok is doing a good job building up into that and taking good trades. He's got about 12 tanks. Yeah, 13 tanks in total, I think. And once he reaches like that critical mass of about one and a half control groups of tanks, I think we'll see him move forward here. Try to shut down this base at least. Maybe not all the way down here to the bottom right. But if he comes through here, might have better luck. Let's see which direction he decides to go in. There's a wide flank of uh, Protoss units coming from all sides. Big volley onto these Dragoons on the left. Some storms hitting a bunch of these units. Supporting units here. Vultures and Goliaths taking quite a bit of damage. But Sock maintaining that critical tank count here and splashing out a lot of those dragoons let's see what he can do pushing forward once again where is his target it seems to me he's actually pushing down towards bottom right i'm not sure if i agree with this maybe instead he wants to take the middle of this map let's just zoom out here take a big position here in the middle and then start to secure upper right that does seem to be the play right now uh, that Sok is going for. Double expansion. Top right. Maybe Motive can go around this. There's a few too many mines set up, actually. Where I don't think that Motive's going to be able to circumnavigate this army effectively. Um, well, maybe if he brings the Dragoons forward first. Nice D-Matrix there, negating that storm. Could use another one here on that second tank. That tank will end up going down. Sock trying to block Motive for moving around the right-hand side, but it seems like Motive is dead set on making his way up there. He's actually going to kind of put these units into a trapped position now where they can't actually get out of here. They have to go up into the top right, I think. He's going to split the Zealots, send the Dragons around the right-hand side, send the Zealots up to try and maybe deal with some of these bases. Of course, just a few vultures should be able to stop that, but maybe he can harass slightly here with those. Uh, just kind of slow Sock down and taking those bases. He's completely maxed out, though, is Sock, and moving towards the natural. 
Oh, this is kind of scary. A lot of unseized shanks right now. A big clump here. Just imagine five Templar or five tanks getting a storm there, but he snipes the Templar immediately the moment that they pop out of the shuttle. Great targeting there by Sock to negate that. Realizing that that really could have harmed him here in this game and Motive, he's gonna try and drop some more Templar. Let's see what kind of damage he can do. Some good storms here, but he loses all the Templar. And Sok is really starting to split off his army and hit multiple bases at the same time. Meanwhile, Dragoon's just getting melted here on the right-hand side as Motive begins to fall apart. He's losing his cool here. He's gotta keep it together. Try to break out of one of these positions before things get too wild and crazy. Dropping Zealots on top of these Goliaths. They are targeted onto the Nexus, so they're not actually going to be fighting back too well. Throws down a Storm, but the Nexus will fall here. A lot of army making its way up towards the top right, but will be shut down here by Sock. Sock stopping that small Zealot counterattack from making its way to the top right, and he's going to be killing this base here at the same time. Probes are falling on mass. And Sok is pushing towards the bottom right now. He's opened up a position, Motive has, where he can actually get out of his natural here. But the army moving down towards the bottom right is going to now contain his bottom right rally point. And I don't think that's, that Motive's going to be able to break out of this one easily. Three shuttles moving forward here. This is just pure tank. Hold up a second. That is a lot of tanks. That's like eight tanks and zealots have been dropped right on top of them, which makes this a fantastic trade for Motive. He's still behind in supply. He's still behind in overall workers. But with that big cleanup on that tank for seven, eight, nine tanks, maybe going down in that attack, perhaps there is some life here left for our Protoss player. Storm's going down here, not getting the best connections. He really needs to get down here as well. Drawing a lot of the forces of Sock into defend. What can he do at this time that's been bought by him? Well, he hasn't set up any more bases just yet. He's only reestablished the natural so far. And Sock has the upper right two bases. If this game state continues, I think Sock will inevitably be able to take this game with two, three, four, five, six bases online right now. It's certainly looking that way. Taking another fight here in the middle of the map. I don't know what you guys feel about the zoomies when I'm zooming back in and out like this. I feel like it's necessary in... Uh, Protoss versus Terran a lot of the time when there's these big fights with widespread tanks. I know a lot of you guys are watching on smaller screens. Might be hard to see. Good God, those storms. Absolutely crushing it. But the tank count cannot be denied here. There is way too much for Sock and his income is completely out of control. He's just going to be able to pump out so many tanks. Look at all the factories here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten facts with four add-ons. Four tanks at a time. That is some crazy levels of uh, production right here. Looks like an EMP went down. Got some of these Templar, but more are coming up. Holy moly. Storms like you've never seen before. Dude, that was so much army that just got wiped out. Mo uh, Sock's army count dropping like a stone there, but is it enough? Still pushing forward, killing off another Nexus, shoving in towards this bottom uh, right-hand corner. More Zealots are going to pop out. More Shuttles are going to come up, but the Nexus will fall. Oh, wait. The Nexus does not fall. Hold on. He saves this Nexus. That's a surprise. And Zealots drop out on top of a lot of these tanks. I'm gonna pick up once again, try to drop on some more tanks here. Dragoons, trying to assist from the back end, but this is looking more and more like a sock victory the longer this goes. We need more bases here for 
motive he's behind a base right now he's he doesn't have either of these two bases and sock has this one well it's just mined out here but you can absolutely start to take bases <clears throat> more towards a motive side of the map zealots being dropped on top of all of these tanks Dragoons taking maybe the best fight that they could possibly hope for with the storms raining down on these tanks But he finally gets around it in the end sock overwhelming Motive here with those extra bases showing him that hey without carriers I can definitely handle you motive Not a problem But that carrier army man if that carrier army gets too hot too strong too out of control. Even a player like Sock can't quite handle it. Ten carriers. Um, with, you know, double bases that he had in the last game. Still not enough income. But here, when you're going just pure gateway army. And Sock has to make nothing but Vulture uh, tank and just a few scattered Goliaths in there. And he manages to get these two bases up online. There's no stopping him. He is so, so damn strong. 80 SCVs at the end of this game. But Motive really needs to work on the Vulture uh, defense. He's taken way too much damage in both of these games. But guys, thank you so much for joining me here. It's been a blast. I've really enjoyed this Motive versus Sock series. I always love to watch Sock. And I hope that he gets over his stage fright and his feelings of inadequacy or whatever it is that's holding him back from performing at the highest level possible in series against the strongest players in the world. That's it for me, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye for now.